today I am coming to you with a side-by-side -side comparison and an actual real working model of Bloomerang as well as another alternative which I would highly recommend and suggest and that would be Patreon which I have placed this link in the description for your convenience. I am not paid by any of these two parties. This is basically a my own humble opinion as to what the best way is for you to solicit funds from supporters and donors. Now, I've done a lot of testing of other systems, whether it's Simple Give or Donately. I could go on and on and on, and really, I landed upon Bloomerang. And as you see right here, um, in case you're wondering, boy, you know, Bloomerang is pretty awesome because it actually encourages people to, di to give in, uh, in a recurring way. So for example, you see right here, um, donor retention, and I'm at 0% right here, I haven't done very well. And really what I was looking for in Bloomerang, if I were to just kind of click around here, which by the way, the user interface is very, very outdated. I mean, even these little icons, they don't have any labels on them. So I'm like, okay, I want to send an email. Which, which icon is the email? They could both be email. So you you find yourself clicking around quite a bit just trying to figure out where you're at, even though I've been using this thing for another for a good one or two months. And yet still, it's kind of frustrating. Um, another thing to make note of is, well, once you actually sign up for Bloomerang, you can't actually get a refund, which is really, really annoying. And so I just shelled out two years worth of subscriptions for Bloomerang. And honestly, if you're a nonprofit, you probably can't afford two years up front. So this is where I'm going to shift gears. And yes, there are some nice things about Bloomerang, but I'm actually gonna show you a much, much, much better alternative. And that is Patreon. Now, Patreon is basically the same thing in terms of it encourages people to support you on a month to month recurring basis. And, but you can see already the huge, huge amount of difference. You know, this one is fully customizable. I have posts. I can put pictures in there. It's absolutely gorgeous looking. And it's so easy. You just go up to this little orange button and say, become a Patreon. Which, by the way, if you want to send a dollar or two my way to our nonprofit, it would be humbly. So I, I would just be so happy. Look at this cute little cat. If you like cats, that's awesome. If you don't, well, I'll remove that for you. But anyway, so let's actually dig into why I actually like Patreon. Well, first of all, it is not just a donation system, but you can push out updates. Yes, you're actually engaging with your supporters. So if you were to come down here, recent posts. So our nonprofit produces amazing cinematic content for those charities and nonprofits who otherwise couldn't afford it. And so I just embedded a Vimeo video right there, which we're not going to watch right there. And I added a joke in here. And this goes straight into the people's email box. So it's not just, you know, you get their money and great, thanks Bloomerang for processing this donation, but it actually encourages you to engage with supporters. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. And that's what you should be looking for. And yes, you could say, well, I'll engage with them on Facebook or Twitter, which is completely free. But guys, you got to connect your donation system to how you're actually touching your supporters. It, you have to. So if you look over here to the right, these people do an incredible job right here of basically pushing out content to their supporters first on Patreon and basically feeding their patrons first. And I don't mean that in a manipulative sort of way, like, oh, I'm not going to give you any information until you give me money. They, be upfront. Be completely honest. Say, guys, you know, I'd be... 100% willing to still produce this free content that you can see, but just being completely transparent that if you donate this amount of money per month, this is what we'll be able to do in addition to what we are already doing. So really, that's the big thing here. It's transparent. My supporters are seeing that how much exactly our nonprofit is making per month. Guys, that's incredible. And then I can go up here and look, when I hover over, it actually gives me a description. So I'm not guessing what these little icons mean. It's like, oh, great. You know what? I'm going to click on patrons and uh, okay, great. Here are our things and I can go into 
uh, communicate with people. If I were to go into posts, I could post text, images, video, and I can actually communicate with people that are supporting me. And that's exactly what I need. You can schedule out things so that you don't have to get on every single day. Um, you can look at metrics and reports, uh, and you don't have to customize reports. I'm going to go quickly over to Bloomerang and actually look at, oh, this is reports. If I were to look at reports, oh, guys, reports is so obnoxious, and you have to customize every single one of these. And uh, you can try to find your current constituents, and okay, great, now I need to craft a whole new email and copy and paste all the emails into BCC, which is what I did yesterday. It was so annoying. From Patreon, you can just post something and it will send it right to their email box instantly. I, I, that is just, I cannot tell you how important that is. Now, if you're a cheapskate like me, you're probably also wondering about pricing. Well, yes, Patreon, once you add up everything, it's a good 10% of what they are taking off of everything. So that's if you add up Oh, let's say um, uh, credit card fees through Stripe, which yes, this is connected to Stripe. Um, and then there's payment methods right here and you can actually see exactly how it is being pushed out to you. So actually I'm getting it processed through my PayPal right there. And, uh, and also I am also supporting a few people on Patreon as well because I really, really like their work. All right, so you may be like, oh, 10%, that's a deal breaker. I can get on PayPal and they only charge me, what, 2 to 3% or Stripe or Donately is 5%. Guys, this doesn't just process donations. What this does is this actually engages your community. And I don't know about you, but that's worth upwards of 20 to 25%. So this is really a one-stop shop. This isn't just a cash register. This is a way of communicating with your supporters. So you have to remember that. Bloomerang, it's a, I thought it was just going to give me a whole bunch of you know, ways to, uh, a to-do list, basically. It's like, Bo, this friendly little alert popped up and you should engage with this person. It doesn't alert you unless you just go over here to my tasks. It just turns red and, and that's it. There's no incentive. As opposed to over on Patreon, there's a huge incentive to engage because people are commenting back and forth. It's not just a one-way push, but um, you're actually pushing out you know, rewards based upon these tiers over here. So anyway, I'm not going to go anymore, but there's a quick little side-by-side -side comparison between Patreon and Bloomerang. And really quickly, as I end this thing, I just want to show you exactly how you edit your Patreon page. Yes, I would put quite a bit of thought into this. Um, I added some emoji right there to add a bit of pop. I uh, added an actual face to your profile picture. Technically, Knox Studio is not just me. It's a whole network of incredible, talented videographers and supporters. But people love faces, so consider putting a face in there. Um, I am categorized under education, even though technically we do a lot of video. Um, uh, so there's actually a video and film option up there. You can't quite see it. Uh, but my screen capture is blocking that off. But anyway, what you need to know is I have education selected because there isn't a lot of competition in education on Patreon, and there's a ton of competition on video and film. So I didn't want to go up against a whole bunch of other people. Uh, so there's my, our Patreon page, patreon.com slash knock. If you want to check us out, you can connect to all sorts of other different third-party programs. And basically, you just read this like a book from left to right. So that's the first step. And then you go into the about page, fill this out, go into your rewards. And as you saw earlier, those are all my tiers. So if, for example, someone just wants to donate two bucks, they'll still get something. If they want to donate a hundred or 50 or something like that, then certain tiers are unlocked. It's like, great, you're a business and you want to support us for 500 bucks a month. We will put you front and center as a thank you in our video at the very end of the video in the credits. And that's huge sponsorship. That's that's worth thousands upon thousands of dollars in terms of business um, marketing expenses. So 500 bucks is very, very reasonable for a business. But anyway, so continuing left to right, you can go to goals, just be completely transparent. Technically, our goal is six and a half thousand dollars a month, which you may be like, wow, that's a massive amount of money. Or if you're a large nonprofit, you're like, <laughs> our operating budget is a hundred grand a month. But uh, six and a half thousand is ours. But really, I didn't want to start with that. I just wanted to start with something 
uh, very, very uh, easily attainable. So 999 bucks, guys, if we can make that, great. Let's move on to uh, keep raising the goals because we are creatures. We are goal-oriented creatures and we want to accomplish goals. So set it, you know, be reasonable, whether it's 200 or 1,000 or 2,000, but be reasonable. Lastly, thank you. Guys, this is so important to thank your patrons and supporters. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Really, if you think about it, that's the only thing that Jesus wants from us is gratitude. And it's free to give. Yes, it takes time, but do it. Be gracious to those who are supporting you. Lastly, payments. This is how I, it's pushed out. So um, basically, I like to be upfront and transparent. I have monthly. Um, I don't like per creation because, well, I don't want a dollar amount um, connected to our projects. I'm going to create these projects regardless. And lastly, public. I like to be very transparent. Some people are private with their earnings. Guys, just be public. It's okay to tell people how much you're making per month. Um, and lastly, well, not really lastly, but this is just a little bonus, but just posts. And it's very easy to make a post right there. You just click on that and it redirects you to this little guy right there. And you can type that and I can say thank you. Whoops, thank you. And then all you wonderful little bugs and that's it and then you can click publish and this will show up in their email box so that's it guys my name is Bo Chevisu I hope that this small little demonstration of Bloomerang uh, versus Patreon uh, as you can see the clear winner is Patreon but hey that's my own humble opinion and I hope this is helpful in determining whether or not this is the right system for your nonprofit. profit